inspire with them. I'm joined here by my good brother, Fred Bassar. You know, I'm glad to have you here. I wanted to interview you. You know, we was working and we were talking about, you said you said something about a PMA. I said, what is that? I had no clue. And you, you, you broke it down and told me what it is. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it yet, because I want them to hear from you, from your perspective. But um, so, what is PMA? Well, PMA to me is uh, the positive mental attitude. It's just always remaining in a in a positive outlook and a mindset. You know, and it's it's even bigger than that. I coined it uh, another phrase that I get into later. But um, mm. I just I just love having you know the outlook of of optimism. You know, mm -hmm. just being like you know the glass is half full. You know, I'm breathing. I'm exactly. alive. You know, the sun came out today. Or whatever. Yeah. You know, a flower bloomed. You know what I'm Finding saying? Finding the the bright spot out of. Exactly. Instead of looking at the negativity, because of course there's a lot of negativity everywhere. You know, it's it's all around us. It's people mm -hmm. negative. It's people giving negative energy or sec sucking your energy <laughs> out of you. You know, just want to suck your energy out. Like, like, come on, man, get off me. Uh -huh. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, it's important for all of us. You know, people who are. Uh, just conscious and, and seeking righteousness and, and mm. being being a, a good person, a, a humble person. You just got to look at the, the overall picture and say, you know, it can always be worse. Right. You know, I got I to gotta stay positive about this. Put positive out, mm. you know, even when we're going through negative situations. Just remain positive, you know. So that positive mental attitude. Oh, positive mental attitude? Right, all right, okay. right, right. Mm -hmm. So through it. through everything, just staying right. positive, mm -hmm. finding a bright spot. Exactly. Okay. And why has that been so like impactful for you going through your life? Yeah. For well, definitely uh, having a positive mental attitude has taken me a long way. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, it it's proven to be a successful uh, strategy that. A lot of you know really wealthy people they also have that that mindset uh, of optimism and it's something that I've also had to study and research to find out that you know the PM, PMA mm -hmm. positive mental attitude is something that we all need to incorporate but it was it was I guess what actually give, gave me uh, when when PMA the positive mental attitude gave me uh, a breath a fresh air and a, a new life in a sense when I was, you know, I was going through a lot of negative moments, a lot of negative things happened in my life. And, right. and I was, I was wondering why, and I was like, you know, kind of just out bad, like in a really bad situation. But I went ahead and I, you know, I got down, I had to, I had to like pray and mm. meditate and I had to uh, bow down really and say, mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is about me. It's not, what is happening to me is what I am choosing to accept. The reality mm, that I'm choosing to, to accept. I'm choosing to say that, you know, these are my uh, realities and, and the situations that I have to go through every day. Instead mm. of seeing those those little small uh, details which are positive mm -hmm. and, and, right. and focusing my mentality on those things and keeping that attitude of, of positivity it it really helped to bring me out of that and I was able to find a lot of different things mm -hmm. and, and a, a different dimensions different aspects of life you know not wow. just not just in you know my my success or whatever I've achieved but also in, in my relationships and with the people around me and, and just going out and into like the world I also see it and feel it and when, when I I, I, was, I often sit back and like listen a lot and I, when I see other people with it, it just it, it makes me rejoice you know and it's like man that's what it's about you know spreading the love right. and, and just staying positive out there and you know it's that's why it was it was that that kind of transformational right so sound, uh, sound, I mean that's what I received today you just you flipped the script you you changed your perspective on what was going on around you and you saw things in a different vision a different way. And, and you said one thing I caught was that you said you um you did research on it. Mm -hmm. You did research about PMA, so you were seeking, mm -hmm. you were seeking to find what this was. Why were why were the wealthy? Why were they happy? Why were they successful? Mm -hmm. 
So it wasn't something that just came across you. Right. You were actively seeking that. You mm-hmm. say you got down and you prayed and you gave it all up. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, it's either going to sink or you're going to swim. Right, right, and so you right. gave it over, you passed it on, and it came back to you yeah. tenfold. Yeah. So that's good. That's good to hear. But um, Definitely. What would, you, what would be your advice, I guess, to, to other people, like mm-hmm. people who are going through some things that are negative and they might not have a positive mental attitude or, or they might not... They, they, Let's say somebody is is they're going through turmoil right now. They're they're in Afghanistan, not even in this country. Mm-hmm. They live in a third world country. There's there's no hope. They don't see any vision. What could be some piece of advice you would give to them? Wow. Well, uh, with God and with you know, if you believe in something bigger, mm-hmm. then and if you believe that there's something better, and that there's a different way out there, that there's a different path then there is. It might be mm-hmm. very hard, nearly impossible. It might be the most difficult thing to do. To see. Or yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. to, to achieve. You know, it might be, it might, you might not be able to see it right now either, but it might seem far-fetched. You know, it might seem like something that is, can't be done and nobody can do it. But if, if a person wants it enough, you know, and if a person is passionate enough, then I believe there's there's not too many things that can stop a person from achieving it. And what they what they actually see for themselves or what they envision or right. you know um, is like, like you said. And one thing I want to go back to what you were saying about the just you know seeking uh, the knowledge and, and, and personal development. Mm-hmm. It was it was actually a point in my in my life where that's why I love like you know your your uh, definitely attitude and the way that you carry yourself, your energy because you know you're also involved with making yourself better and becoming a better person. And personal development is is very important. I think a lot of people. Uh, are lacking that yes. and that's why they they can't bring the best to the table because they not they haven't took a step back to try to work on themselves or mm. try to get a little bit better mm-hmm. you know of course we are going to be learning and nobody's perfect and all that but right. uh, the personal development is just is just key and that's why I love what you're doing and what you're bringing to the table with the inspire from within is just it's amazing and, and keep it up so um Definitely one of the, I would say change change your mindset and you can change your reality. That's what I would say. Mm. My advice would be work as hard as you can, taking as much knowledge as you can mm-hmm. uh, on yourself, on, on your own thoughts and, and your own mind and, and figure out what it is that is going to satisfy that the your your human uh your like humanistic uh you know just your or original uh organic that's what mm, I'm okay, saying. Right, exactly. right, right, right. But, but, but your organic natural cause like evolutionary cause like grow right right mm. grow develop you know uh every moment every moment every every second that we have every yeah. breath you know that we have i'm big on that indulging yourself in reality what's right now not the past not the future right what we got in this moment right one moment i i i, I hope i can can pick it I, I had a moment i wanted to speak of about you and your past um oh so you i remember one time we were talking and um you spoke of how uh others have affected you how you found that strangers care Mm. Would you care to share that that moment of, mm. of what occurred? If, if you know what I'm speaking of, and then when I was, did it, you talking about when I was in, uh, like when I was a mm-hmm. kid? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was definitely, and it was moments like that um, when I found out I was, I believe I was in like middle school, and and uh, I was doing all the wrong things once again. You know, my background, I came from, and and that's the thing, like. When it comes to the positive mental attitude, it doesn't matter what background you're from, mm. and it doesn't matter what you've been through, because if you have a positive mental attitude, you can still overcome whatever it is that that See it is the light. Uh, exactly. Mm. So you know that's that's why 
I always say whatever our whatever our thoughts are, whatever we're taking into our mind, whatever we're putting out from our mind is exactly what we are. You know? right, so right. Yeah. so that, that gives us the ability to either create a hell for ourselves or create something mm. that's more beautiful, you right, know? Right. something that's more uh, pleasing to us and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, back to the story about when I was in uh, middle school, I was I was getting in trouble in school and I found myself in the principal's office and uh, the principal, you know, I don't know what, why he felt like he had to do this for me, but uh, I was I was there after school in a detention or something. And it was just him and I. And, uh, for some reason, he felt the need to invite me back to his house for dinner. And this mm. man, a principal, uh, you know, I'm sure he was storied man. Didn't you know, know you did at this. all. No, he, I mean, there was maybe one or two exchanges before, but there was mm. no reason for him to trust me at all to come back to his home. A beautiful, nice, like two story home. Just him and his wife, you know, older uh, gentleman, you know, and, and he invited me to his home and he like invited me for dinner. Like, and I was like, wow, like, why? Right, why would right. somebody do that? And then that's when I know, like, and he was, he was spreading that positivity. He was mm. very, his energy was very strong in, in mm. positivity and, and, and development and growth. And, 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 and you can see when a, when people are like that, that's those are the seeds that they also sow. You know, they mm. they, they instill that in the people around them. You know, right, and, right. And it's just natural. They don't have to try, or they don't they don't you know think about it. You know, because he didn't he obviously didn't think about mm. bringing me over to his house. Because <laughs> I mean, exactly. yeah, because so. anything could happen. Anything could happen from them. So, mm. but definitely, I mean. Just, just blessed and, and fortunate to be able to have those type of moments in my life and to look at them as such. Where you know, and, and I don't, I don't dwell on the past, but it was something that, for sure, it was those positive moments in my life mm. that outweighed all the negative moments in my life up until that time. Right. There, you know, just and we all go through negative moments, you know? So sometimes it looks like there's so much negativity going on mm -hmm. that there's no positivity. Right. And, and that's the thing about, you know, we living in the moment, like you said, and, and being aware and what's going on because, you know, that's when we really can enjoy and reap the benefits of what, mm -hmm. what's actually happening and what's, what we can have right, know, right. Know, by having that positive mental attitude. Uh, a positive mental attitude, mm -hmm. you know. So, and, and also, I'll share with you this. Um, I definitely am promoting the positive mental attitude as as a billion dollar mindset. Mm. And a billion dollar mindset, anybody can adopt it. Anybody can take it on. It's a mindset of you. You know, when just just like a billionaire, just like a person who has no financial worries. You right. know, once once. You know, a person has established and achieved that. They probably have all the, the, you know, stronghold, if you will, or wow. all of the animosity that came with that, right? Oh yeah, you know, of course. So, so they're gonna do whatever, right, mm -hmm. right. But then they're also gonna be like, you know, kind of like, well, I've created this. It's like, you know, who who I'm with the right ego. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. like right, uh, an ego along with it. Right, right. But when you look at it from the billion dollar mindset aspect of the ego and you take the ego out of it really that person enjoys the freedom of making true decisions without mm. having to you know or be fearful with exactly exact, you know, just thinking about it of, of any type of worry pretty much because mm. you you unlock your time freedom mm. you unlock your financial freedom you know and then eventually i, I look at warren buffett and maybe mm -hmm. he has that billion dollar mindset oh, where yeah. you, you've unlocked your mental freedom where you no longer are mentally chained in. You don't you're not insecure, you don't exactly you're go. not you're not trying to put your ego out there because you know there's no reason for you to have an ego anymore. Mm -hmm. You've already done what you've done. You're just helping. You're giving back. You're paying your part into mm -hmm. whatever the organization or people community that you have. So do you think there's a misperception on people who are rich or have a lot of a money, a lot of money? 
I definitely do. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I understand it and I respect it coming from the opposite end. I come from a impoverished uh, background. You know, I, maybe we were middle class, but I mean, I, my upbringing myself, I didn't have the luxury of, you know, having a home all the time or having the food to eat all the time. Mm -hmm. But even beyond all that, that helped me and strengthened me to get to where I am by choosing my positive mental attitude through mm -hmm. those. But, you know, even still people who are successful yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you know, you see what, what has happened, but all in all, you know, when it when it comes down to it, we all have the, our own decisions and our own uh, responsibility to, no matter whatever is going on around us, to uphold our personal accountability and our mm -hmm. personal responsibility right. Right, to, to be righteous people and live amongst each other and, and try to build up and, and be greater together. All right, that's so, beautiful, bro. That's beautiful, brother, man. If everybody could take this mindset away. I mean, I have the same mindset, and it's people like this. When they come together, then it's all love. It's beautiful to see that. To see that energy connect, man. Right. So, you know, it, it's appreciate. I don't want to take up too much of your time. If you, you know, you feed enough that. seeds, you're, right, you're right. sowing good seeds in, right, you're going to reap those seeds come fall. So, I appreciate you. You know, um, you can follow Fred at... Right, said Fred on Instagram. Uh, you can also follow me Facebook, uh, Frederick Broussard. Uh, check me out. I got. I have a book coming out. Uh, it's Stay a, tuned. Uh, a lifestyle. The lifestyle. Wait. Excuse me. Uh, let me get this right. I got a book coming out uh, within the next year. It's going to be called the the Everyday Vacation Lifestyle. Mm. So look out for that. Definitely want to build that positive vibe and mm -hmm. energy throughout. And uh, just build that community of prosperity with my peoples. No matter exactly. where you are, big and small, you know, we all can do something. You know, we all can play our part. You matter. You matter. Yeah. Fred is a young entrepreneur, businessman, just like myself. You know, it's, it's just great to connect with individuals like this. Um, me on IG at Mike Carolina Inspire. YouTube, subscribe at Mike Carolina. But uh, we thank you all, and y'all have a great day. Peace. Peace. Hey, my brother. Come on.